Hello my dear family members, if you are preparing for Virtusa and if you are done with the speech assessment and if you want to know about the what's the next round and what's the latest pattern, what's the latest questions and is Python or CPP allowed in the next round. So let me discuss about all of these. Now, so the first question is what's the next round that is uh, round 2 that is called round 2 or stage 2 coding round for Virtusa and this will be under an invigilated and you have to give the assessment in front of them and that the latest pattern is actually earlier what happened in the on campus 2026 uh, there was total five questions three coding questions one essay or one email writing so this was the pattern but for you if you are giving the exams now for you the pattern is total three coding questions will be asked and one will be from recursion one will be from array and string okay now the next question is is python or cpp allowed now let me show you one conversation between the candidates that is this can you do in code in python actually what happened uh, in the first round for the regular code you are allowed to write the code in any language but for the power code you could write the code in python only okay so i thought that uh, python should be allowed in the next round but as earlier only java was allowed for the latest candidate as well so please have that mindset that only java will be allowed for your case as well so let me go to the next question that is what are the latest questions they are asking so now let me show the way so let me share the latest questions just before that one request to please subscribe to this video like and comment down which content you want more if you want me to upload more back to the second round or interview experience or anything then please let me know i'll make more videos on those okay now let me share the questions hey you ready for the future attack no uf is here with premium prep materials no need to fear cognizant accenture tcs and more We'll get you ready, open up that door. Hello everyone, my name is Shorish Gupta. So today we are going to discuss two more questions which has uh, which are appeared in the exam of virtues. Eh? The first one is the little bit tricky question and to some extent hard also. Like in a remote village the existed the question description is uh, in a remote village there existed two mystical strings s1 and s2 in these strings was hidden a secret encoded in their characters your task is to find and return an integer value representing uh, the encoded secret of the strings by finding the sum of the ascii values of the characters in the longest common substring between these two strings return zero if there is no common substring okay and there is a note is also there uh, all will be the in, the lower, in lower case and the second point is that if there are multiple longest common substrings then written the uh, ascii sum of the substring that occurs first okay so this uh, we can par uh, solve this this type of questions like mainly the longest common substring by various way so suppose like we can perform through by using recursion also but recursion is not that a good solution because the time complexity for the recursion goes so much high 2 to the power n exponential so whereas uh, we can uh, uh, solve this type of questions by using dynamic programming dp so let's go to the code but before going to the code let me explain actually what in which way we are going to solve this code so what will we do by checking the longest common substring we need we require a two string as not two string we required a uh, matrix m into n m representing the length of string 1 and n representing the length of string 2 so two strings longest and stone okay now the what i am doing here it is a uh, index one based uh, matrix i have prepared so these are the index zeros the first column and first row of the matrix will be all zeros now coming to the from the uh, index 1 
from here only the l has been started uh, the uh, long, uh, string 1 has been started and string 2 has been started so what i am doing actually longest is the string 2 and stone is the string 1 uh, so what i have done i have pointed out all those indexes where the characters are matching in both the strings so what i have done i am just putting zeros because s is not similar to l s is not similar to o s is not similar to n s is not similar to g s is not similar to e but s is similar to s here is a similarity so currently the length is one okay again s is not equal to t so i am putting it zero again coming to t uh, again uh, the first column will be zero t is not uh, same as l not o not n not g not e not s but here is a t is there in the string 2 as well so what i have done i have just added plus 1 with the uh, with 1 here what i actually done suppose the index of this uh, uh, cell is ij and what i have done i did i minus 1 j minus 1 the value i have just added the i minus 1 uh, index of i minus 1 j minus 1 with 1 so this is the i minus 1 j minus 1 index and i have added 1 uh, with that so currently it is 1 plus 1 2 so currently i have longest common substring is of length 2 again i am checking o o is similar uh, O is a matching uh, uh, character in both of these strings so I have again put it one I have just added with uh, added one with the from this zero again it is not matching with any uh, with any other characters now coming to n for n also I am getting a similarity so what I have done I have just added one with this from with this one as because this is the i minus 1 j minus 1 it uh, cell or index so the cu current count is 2 so this is a separate substring is go, uh, go created we have found so for this also the length is 2 again i am coming for e here it is the similarity of e and the length is 1 so after checking after performing all the checkings what i can see the highest the, the longest common sub substring is of length 2 between these two strings now which is the first one so i can see the st is occurring first so i will uh, will uh, keep it uh, as answer this uh, this uh, substring only st because this is this uh, substring is occurring at the first time uh, so that's why we will just calculate we will just add uh, both of these uh, characters ascii value okay so i think s uh, the character uh, ascii value for s is 115 and ascii value of uh, t is 116 so the sum will be 231 so let's go to the code guys before we jump to the answer i want you to have the best prime materials available in internet for virtusa where you will get all the latest qu uh, coding questions all the latest interview experiences mock test and all the things you need to prepare for the upcoming round and you can see the feedback of students provided below and you will get all the latest questions uh, which will keep updating and you will get unlimited access there is no restrictions and you will get instant access so please have that and grab the opportunity at Virtuosa. Now let me discuss the question. <clears throat> so I have just taken all these two strings and I have put, given some conditions to make the 
string one first for, uh, to make the string at the first which has the length uh, small length so I have given the uh, condition here so this is the check method which I have declared return type is int declared uh, two of uh, two indexes sum is equal to zero max is equal to min uh, zero and another index variable I have initialized with minus one to capture the last index of the longest common substring it means that what I want to do I want to capture this index okay so I have again declared the length and I have started the loop and also I have created that uh, matrix here m into m, m plus 1 n plus 1 matrix so I have initialized from 1 to m and thus uh, in the nested loop as well 1 to n so I am just checking if s1 dot caret i minus 1 why I have written i minus 1 as because this is the index 1 but for the string it is the index 0 for that reason only I have given i minus 1 so if s1 dot caret i minus 1 is equal to is equal to s2 dot caret i minus j minus 1 then what I am doing I am just adding the value which is present as the a i minus 1 j minus 1 th index uh, with 1 so what I am doing so suppose this is the index this is the index of a i j and this is the index of a i minus 1 j minus 1 so what I am doing I am just adding 1 with this value which is present at the index of i a i minus 1 j minus 1 okay the same thing I am doing here so now what I am doing if a i j is greater than max I am just checking the count here so it is greater than max then I am updating the max value and I am updating the index variable with the last index so here I have given i minus 1 I have uh, stored i minus 1 in the index variable or else if it is not satisfying then I am just assigning 0 in that particular index and initializing sum as 0 ok so we don't require actually here sum this statement we don't require we, are ju we just need to initialize this uh, index in the matrix as 0 so in this way it will happen so at first it will check 1 1 means the 0 is 0 after that 0 1 0 2 0 3 in this way it will check what I have given like at first it will check with L S L S O S N so in this way it will check now I am uh, after completing this whole operation we need to check if max is greater than 0 or not if max is greater than 0 then we need to check uh, the we need to add all the ASCII values otherwise we can simply return 0 so what I have done I have already captured that particular index value last index so I am initializing a loop from that index value to 0 not 0 up to the starting index so I have already captured the length in the max variable so I am just giving the limit here only I index minus max plus 1 and I am decreasing the value of i so here I am just part for adding the value I have declared the sum variable is 0 adding the value ASCII values of each of the characters and for your understanding purpose I have given the uh, character as well as that ASCII value also here and I am returning the sum so let's compile this code yeah so this is the first string I am giving this is the second string see so what is the, the substring which I am I, getting first that is st 
because after checking this condition stone is becoming the string 1 and I can uh, we can see that the ASCII value of T is 116 and ASCII value S is 115 so adding it to 31 okay actually it is written uh, it has been printed in the reverse order so you are that's why you are getting T in at the beginning and S is the last so this is the code so if you have any other doubt you can drop a comment in the comment section we will check for that and we will try to resolve your queries as soon as possible please subscribe to techno uf and don't forget to like and share with your friends